Yo, what is good, YouTube? That was really good. That was good. That was good stuff. You guys are new to the channel. My name is Brian. I'm an 18 year old entrepreneur here in New York City. And on this channel, I document my life and I document my journey as a automotive videographer. Now, I know I've been gone for about a week. I was busy doing quite a few things. I graduated high school, which is super awesome. Um, I got a job as an EMT. Some of you may know that I am an EMT. Yeah, just tying up some things and personal things. Surprised you think coming out of high school that you have it all figured out. And it makes you realize like, hey, there's some things I'm a little confused about. Uh, so I need some time just to take a step back from all the camera stuff and really focus on, you know, what I wanted to do and what moves I want to take moving forward to put me in the best position possible. But yeah, in the background, we've been making some moves and um, I can't be more excited for where the summer's going. I can't be more excited for where just life is going in general. And I just want to take a quick second before we get into the car and everything, but I'm not sure who really needs to hear this, but it's okay. And I, I, I think I think as a, as a society, we don't stress this enough, but um, you know, it's okay to not have things figured out. I know a lot of people, especially the young, younger people like myself, we, um, we feel and we get anxious because we want to have everything figured out. We want to, we want to have all the answers to everything. And you know, we just want it now. Being impatient is not good at all. And it's not going to get anybody anywhere. I think it's really important that we uh, deploy as much patience as possible. And uh, we focus on the long-term goal and that, you know, nothing worthwhile ever comes easy. But from now on, I think I want to start the videos on a little more positive note because why not, right? So if you're wondering what we're going to be doing today, well, you'll just have to wait and see. I wasn't able to get into the story, but I guess I'll explain. Uh, this happened, I'm trying to remember, this happened last Saturday here with my guy uh, from Safe Flight. So this happened last Saturday while we were at um, Slammed by the Harbor, which was an event in New Jersey. And um, I don't know if you guys can really see it, but there's a crack all the way up, almost to the middle of the windshield. And um, I actually have no idea how it happened. Uh, Ryan and I were cleaning the car before the event and um, he was drying the windshield and he's like, yo, I think you got a scratch on your windshield. And I was like, damn, that sucks. And then it started growing as we were driving and I was like, that's that's not good. Scratches don't grow. So, um, so went to Safe Flight, got everything scheduled and um, here we are getting the windshield replaced. And um, on top of that, we got new plates and uh, we're gonna put those on today as well. Now imagine driving like this, like nothing in here it's crazy that's it guys so we got the new glass on I mean nothing really special but it doesn't have a huge crack in it which is awesome so I was actually told that uh, I can't really power wash it I don't see why I couldn't um, like hand wash it but I'm not gonna take any risks because I really don't want this thing leaking or anything like that so we're just gonna wait a day or two or whatever it's supposed to rain tomorrow anyway so washing it really wouldn't make much sense Yo, I was told to stop saying, yo, what's up guys, every time I come back to the camera, or yo, what's good, so I'm gonna stop that. I was gonna go to Orchard Beach, but the traffic there was insane. But we made it to a parking garage, because uh, when you don't have a garage in New York City, this is kind of what you have to deal with. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these old plates. As you can see, somebody actually backed into me and I bent the entire plate, and then on top of that, um, they actually cracked uh, the top of the plate over here a little bit. Thank God, not enough to break the, the plate frame, but uh, yeah. Super excited. I think it's gonna change the look of the car just a little bit. Here's the reveal. If anybody from Instagram is watching this and wants to hook me up with the link up handle, it'd be much appreciated. That'd be pretty sick. So it's funny because 
it took me quite a few weeks to figure out what I was gonna put on the plates and that was on the on the yellow and navy blue plates I was trying to like customize that then I found out different customizable plates like white and navy blue like the ones I have now I thought those were really sick so I went with that and um, I somehow ended up with link up so it came out so sick I'm super high put it definitely uh, car is dirty but it looks so much better next thing we're gonna do probably is uh, do is either tint these or um, black them out completely. I'm also trying to debate if I should if I should spray tint these, and it's gonna be kind of permanent. But I would really like I've seen a really cool design that I want to do, so I might spray tint these, uh, a tint on the clear part, or maybe tint the whole thing. I really have no idea, but um, I definitely want to do something with these tail lights. I really want to get these different tail lights. I'll throw them up on the screen now. If any of you guys are watching and have these tail lights, let me know because I definitely want them. So somebody offered me K-Sport coilovers for a really, really good price. And I was like hesitant to get them. And now I don't know if he has them anymore. That's what happens when you're not action biased. But um, yeah, let's go pick a mat. That's teaching I'm, me how to vlog. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna freeze those and uh, and then you can say later or like tomorrow or like next video or something. YouTube Academy coming soon, online course, 997. <laughs> <laughs> so after getting some instruction on how to tell you guys this. So I was making this smoothie. <laughs> this one doesn't have caffeine in it. But what I was thinking is how crazy it would be if somebody made black coffee ice cubes and then like basically made a caffeinated fruit smoothie. So I did that. So for any of you guys who like coffee, like myself, um, if you guys are interested in the review of that in the next video, if I remember, I'm gonna do it and I'll give you guys that review. Matthew's telling me to cut, I'm gonna cut now. See you, see you guys. <laughs> so unfortunately after that shake, um, that's all that really happened today. I'm trying to get Matt back on social media and I need you guys' help. Guys, I'm so sorry, but right now I'm really prioritizing building my business so that when I do great content for you guys, it's super credible and all the lessons that I learned from this journey, I can just value transfer knowledge transfer directly to you guys transfer. through this camera right here. A lot of stuff in the works soon that you guys will all see and will come to fruition in time. So Matthew has inspired me to become a little more transparent on camera and um, he wanted me to tell you guys because he I guess he found value in what I was saying to some extent so he was like you should transfer that over so that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, one of my favorite entrepreneurs Andy Frasilla talks about test days right and how sometimes things just get really really difficult and I'm not sure I didn't really talk about it on a camera today last week was the first time I actually went to get my windshield replaced it was raining it was pouring I went to a bunch of different parking garages with the safe light guy and um, all of those like he didn't fit in because his van was too tall so went all the way out to Yonkers it was like a 30 minute ride get there it's pouring rain weather sucks roads suck everything sucks and I just want to get this done with I get there he takes off my glass you know everything's a mess and then his like manager proceeds to tell me that they, that insurance brought the wrong glass and that um, either I'm gonna drive home without a rear view mirror or um, that I have to drive with the cracked glass that's gonna like break and all this stuff. So literally leaving with no choice and it really tested, I mean we, we, we put the old glass back on because I wasn't gonna drive without a rear view. That probably would have got them in a lawsuit so that wasn't too sharp on his side but it was really stressful and just really like in, not stressful but inconvenient and you know I went back into thinking about what Andy Frasilla said and the whole concept is that you know some the, the days that things don't go the way you want them to is simply just a test and it's allowing you to see that if you can control your emotions and you know if you can control your emotions you can control you know the feelings you have and you know anger and stress and anxiety and all these things if you can control them in moments of difficulty it's going to be that much easier to control them when the time comes that you know everything is fine and like today i had an awesome day and and they're overall going to make you a much happier person if you guys like me talking about stuff like that matt says i should do it more often but i'm not sure but if you guys like that let me know in the comments drop a like or whatever and um yeah thank you guys so much for watching you guys are all awesome you guys are great um, you guys are the reason I do this and I'm super excited for the future and what the future holds. 
Some of you guys who have been watching my videos for a while know that me and Matthew used to hang out a lot. But unfortunately, with school and EMT school and all this stuff, I was really busy and none of our classes aligned, so I would barely see him throughout the day. Uh, but now you could expect uh, a lot more content, a lot more motivational content and stuff like that from uh, Matthew and I being together. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Drop a like, drop a comment, uh, subscribe. We're almost at 400, which is sick. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.